What can be done is in fact you can actually put right next to where the cancer is a small BB and the BB is also radioactive. The advantage of that that the BB can be put in through a small needle. It can be done a day or two or three before the operation so it doesn't have to be done the morning off and therefore you can start the operation early. The patients don't have to wait all day for that. And most importantly, because the BB marks the spot, the surgeon can use the Gaga counter to find exactly which is the least difficult and the most direct approach to the area in question. And then you can plan your scar in the most cosmetically amenable approach because you don't have to worry about following a wire that may be placed at 12 o'clock to find a lesion that is at 6 o'clock. You see, so the incision can be actually put directly where you need it. So the radiologist traditionally would actually use the mammogram as a radar or the ultrasound as a radar with which to approach this lesion with a needle and the needle is punctured through the skin in the most reasonable approach for the radiologist to reach it. Once they reach the spot with this needle, they slide through this needle, and the needle is about the size of a little bigger IV. They slide through it, this thin wire with a hook on it, like a little barb, and when they actually slide it through the needle, as it comes out the other end, the barb will deploy and it'll stick. Many times the procedure alone of putting the wire is quite painful, and many patients complain of that. In many of our patients, for example, the nice thing about this approach is that, as I mentioned earlier, we can actually move the probe around the maximum point of radioactivity to design a more uniform sphere, which allows us, in fact, in many of these patients to proceed with a, another treatment that you and I have talked about, namely the mammocyte. The cavity for the mammocyte is a cavity which needs to be as close to a sphere as possible to allow these patients to perhaps complete the radiation therapy using the mammocyte treatment, which is the accelerated partial breast radiation in five days instead of five weeks. So the shape of the lumpectomy, which can be more spherical using this approach, is more favorable for the placement of this device, or this balloon, which allows more of those patients to perhaps complete their radiation therapy in five days instead of five weeks. So you can link the two approaches and in, you can see now that theoretically a patient could have a diagnosis done on a Monday, have their surgery done on a Wednesday, have their radiation um, completed between the following Monday to Friday and be done from beginning to end with all their treatment in under two weeks. The deceit itself and all personnel involved in this has a literally a zero chance of causing any radiation damage. This is a very, very, very weak radiation BB. In fact, the radiation dose, which is, shall we say, uh, given to a patient if they have the seed in place, is many, 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 many times less than the radiation dose that you would subject yourself to if you took an airplane ride from Omaha to New York City. We put the seed in on the day before the operation, and then we remove it the very next day as part of the lumpectomy, which means that these seed, if you wish to call it that, the radiation I-125 seed, is really within the patient's breast for less than 24 hours. And so there really is no concern about any radiation exposure. No, in other words, this basically does not affect what we otherwise call the systemic therapy, which is chemotherapy or hormone therapy, and it does not affect the radiation therapy.